Hello everyone, I am Deborah, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So you guys already know about, I guess five weeks ago, I came to you all to let you know that I was going to attempt my hand at batch content creation. And for those of you that don't know what batch content is, it is creating a whole bunch of content several weeks, maybe even several months worth of content in a short span of time. So that way, at any given point, you always have content to pull from and you're not creating things on the fly. And the reason why you wanna do that is so that you always have content available so that you can get your life back, guys. <laughs> uh, if anyone has ever told you that this world of YouTube is a piece of cake and it is not time consuming, they were lying to you. That is so not true. YouTubing takes up a lot of time, it takes a lot of commitment, and it takes up a whole bunch of your life. So, and another reason of course that you wanna batch content create is so that you do not get burned out because of the reasons that I just mentioned. So again, I came into this new year, 2021, with the determination that I was gonna try my hand at it because I needed to get this thing called YouTube under control. Last year was my year that I started YouTube um, in January and everything at that particular point in time, guys, was new. Didn't know how to film, didn't know how to use the camera, to, um, not the camera, use the, the phone to film. Didn't know about lighting, didn't know about sound, didn't know about editing, didn't know about music. Knew nothing about YouTubing other than the fact that that's something that I wanted to do. So last year, it was a matter of consistently putting out content, also trying to figure things out, looking at YouTube content, you know, to find out how to do this and how to do that. And I, it consumed me the entire year along with work absolutely consumed me. So this year, having more knowledge under my belt, I said, okay, I know a little bit more about putting together content. I feel more comfortable in all those areas that I just mentioned. I feel more comfortable as far as sitting in front of this camera and talking to myself. So this year I said, what I'm gonna do is I need to, again, get my life under control and try my hand at this batch of content creating. So the question is to batch or not to batch? That is the question. So after having done this for about, I guess, five weeks now, I will tell you whether or not this is something that I'm going to continue, if it's a bust or if it's a must, coming up next. So if you want to find out my experience in it, I'll be right back, you guys, and I will give you the answer. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so my experience with Batch, the first thing that I needed to do was to go out to YouTube and look at some other content creators to find out how they tackle this world called Batch, to get some tips and some pointers and to take you know bits and pieces from the things that I liked. And I knew that would actually work for me. So that was the first step. But one thing that I will have to tell you guys that I did not see in all the content that I actually looked at, and that was how to batch content while you're also actively rolling out current content to keep everything that you're doing right now current. And if you guys don't know, I have actually have two channels. I've got a reaction channel and I have this channel, okay, that you are looking at this on. So as I was batch content creating, I was also trying to keep my post on these two channels active and current and up to date. And I'm doing two videos per week on each one of these channels. Plus, I'm also doing my daily Instagram posts. So I didn't see anything out there. <laughs> <laughs> that basically assists and guides and directs and give you some pointers on how to manage all of that. So when I say that my life has been crazy, hectic over the past five or, or, or six weeks, 
it has been exactly that. But guys, I pushed through and I did it. I kept everything on both those channels current. I kept everything on my Instagram uh, current. Every day I posted something and I was also able to accumulate some content in my batch bin and I am so uh, super excited about it. So one of the things that I knew that I needed to do at the very onset was to devise a mechanism to keep these things organized. So at the time, I thought the best thing for me to do, and I'm actually still doing it, is to have these little notebooks, okay? I've got a notebook for channel one. I got a notebook for channel two. I got a notebook for my Instagram account. I've also got a notebook because I'm putting together some DIY skincare products. I got a notebook for that too. So the reason for these particular notebooks is so that as I come up with ideas, I am writing them in these books. Okay, that's the first step. And that represents my, my content. So they go in here. And another thing that I do too is um, in the little margin, what I do next to each idea, I put my little legend and the legend being C, F, E, N, T. And the C is content. That's where I brainstorm and I come up with the content. Have I written my script? So that's what that is for. The F is needs to be filmed. The E is needs to be edited. And then the T is I need my thumbnail. So that's my little legend. And as I go through each component of those things, I just put a little tick mark through it and I know, okay, what I have left to do for that particular idea. All right. And again, I have one of these books for each one of my channels as long along with Instagram. Then when I decide on what day I am going to post that, because again, I'm posting two videos per week per channel. Then what I decide to do is um, I have decided in advance what day I am going to do my post. And I'm doing my post for my channel one on Tuesday and Saturday. I'm doing my post on channel two on Thursday and Saturday. So those are the days that I post to my YouTube. Then on my Instagram, again, I've already said that I post daily on those. So part of my planning process and part of batch is that you have to decide in advance what days and how many days that you're going to need for each of those components that I just named. And you're going to have to dedicate your days to those things solely. But again, because my YouTube, two channels were active, I'm active on Instagram, I couldn't adhere completely to this particular schedule that I'm going to show you guys. And the reason being is because even though I may have Sunday um, earmarked, which I do for my IG content creation that I'm doing for the entire week, and I also have a day earmarked to do my comments, I was also brainstorming scripts. Or I may have been doing um, filming or I was doing editing and I did those things each day of the week as time permitted just so I could stay current on my two channels as well as Instagram and then also accumulate some batch. But again, because I've got so much content batched at this point, um, next week I am in a good position that I can adhere to the schedule that I have put together. So let me give you guys a little peek at what I'm talking about. So let me give you, where's my January? Okay. Now you guys do not mind my handwriting, okay? This is just to give you a point of reference. So this is a calendar that I printed out and I went to a date time calculator. Um, utility and I found a calendar that worked for me that I printed out for the free and I use this. So what I have done is again, each day of the week I have earmarked to uh, represent what I'm going to do on those days. So as an example, Monday, sorry, as an example, Sunday, let me get something that I can follow here. Okay. All right. All right. So as an example, Sunday. Sunday is my comments day and my Instagram content creation day for the week. Okay. And I have decided in advance that I need to do that one day per week and Sunday is it. And then um, on Monday, 
I have designated that as being my content creation day. So that is when I am going to brainstorm and also put together scripts for some of the ideas that I have come up with that I have put in these books. So that's what my Monday is. And I have decided that for the month that I need two to three days of content creation. Then Tuesday, I have decided that that is going to be my editing day. Okay. And I have decided that along with content creation, that I need two to three days per month for editing. Okay. Um, Wednesday, I have designated to be a comment day along with batch. And that is the day that I am filming the content that I put in these books, the ones that I've already come up with my scripts for. And I can sit down in front of this camera just like what I am doing right now and I can film. Okay, so I have designated Wednesday and Thursday for that. And I decided, let's see, I decided that I need two to three days per month to tackle that. And then on Thursday, um, that is the day that I am posting. And Friday, I I think I've got Friday off. I think I have Friday off. And then Saturday, I also post um, on that day as well to both my channels. So again, just to give you guys an idea of what my week looks like, what my month looks like. Again, if this is something that you want to attempt, then you have to decide what is going to work for you, your schedule, your life. And then you commit it to paper and you tweak it as you go along if you feel that that is in fact something that you need to do because anything new is subject to change. Just keep that in mind. Anything new is subject to change. So feel free to tweak it as you go along if you need to do exactly that to make it fit your particular lifestyle. And guys, when I tell you that this has been so good for me, it I am so pleased. I'm so pleased with the progress that I've made. Absolutely. Because again, I've got a lot of content that I have put in my little idea books here. Um, and again, as time permits, I go in there. I choose something that I'm going to write a script for. I write the script. I, you know, sit here in front of this camera. I film it. So now, you know, I've got, what, two things taken care of. I've got um, the idea, I've got the script, I've got the filming. Now I'm just left with the editing and I'm left with the thumbnail, okay? And again, this has just worked so wonderfully for me and for my life. So I am definitely looking forward to this upcoming week because that is going to be the true test of my schedule because um, it will be actually the first time that I am going to follow it to a T. So Sunday is my IG content creation and my comments day. You will not see Deborah sitting in front of this <laughs> camera filming, okay? Because that defeats the whole idea of batch. So the question, batch to batch or not to batch, that is the question. The answer is absolutely, positively, yes, yes, yes. This thing, again, is is everything, I tell you. Um, and again, I am going to um, put this thing to the full test next week. And I'll probably come back to you guys again and give you another update after I have implemented, you know, my schedule. But as of right now, guys, even though it did seem a little bit, it seemed a little bit overwhelming, but at the same time, it was productive time. I was busy, but I was productive and I could definitely see the light at the end of the tunnel. Even though each and every day I work like my one day, my, my full-time job is almost like having two jobs in one. So I do that. And then again, and then I'm doing this YouTube and I'm doing the Instagram. So even though it was really crazy, hectic, busy, I, again, I can see the progress that I was making a little at a time. And the five weeks later, I am solid. I am good. So again, you guys, I wanted to come to you and let you know what my progress looks like. And also, 
to definitely encourage you if your life has spiraled out of control because if of this world called YouTube, definitely do consider batch content creation. It will save you. I promise you it will. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumb, thumbs up and please do share and please do become a part of my YouTube family. I would love to have you along for my journey, okay? And also guys, remember to remain safe, healthy, and encouraged. And until we meet again, keep growing, keep thriving, and keep pushing those boundaries. And I'll see you all real soon on my next I've Got Something to Say too. Thank you all for joining me and you have a wonderful evening.